Welcome to day 6 of my 100 days of Webflow journey. Today we will learn how to filter through a blog on Webflow using the FinSuite filter attributes. We will integrate this tool on an imaginary blog that I just spent 2 hours creating for some reason because I really wanted this video to be nice. So we'll integrate this tool on that blog and that blog is called the Digital Nomad Diaries and we'll filter through it by categories and type. And I just want to say thank you FinSuite for creating this tool. It's a really powerful tool and it's very easy to use and it's actually completely free which I can't believe that it's free um, and I hope that doesn't change in the future. So thank you FinSuite for providing this for us developers and without further ado let's just jump to it and see how this works. Okay, so this is the blog. I'm going to leave this as a clonable for you. You can find the link under the video. Uh, so first things first, you need to go to the CMS filter page by FinSuite. So that's finsuite.com slash attributes slash CMS filter. You will need to copy this script. Go to your page where you want to add the blog, where you have the blog, and you add this in your head tag. So paste this here. And then you will need to specify the list that you want to filter. So you copy this attribute that says list. You go to your collection list. So that's the collection. You go to custom attributes. You add this here and you call it value list. And then the same thing for the filter UI. So where the filter UI, which is supposed to be a form. So this is a form component. You see the icon here. This means that it's a form component. And you go there, you go to custom attributes, you install this uh, name value attribute, and then you call this filters. So now that's it. Now the filter system is installed. Now it's all about identifying what's what and where to filter um, the categories or whatever we want to filter. So you go to the field identifier, you copy this attribute. Now we want to filter categories by the categories that are on the blog post. So we go to the text. So here, this is a CMS collection. So if I apply on one, it will apply on all of them. So you just click on text. You go on the custom attributes. You paste this. You name it category. And then you go on your CMS collection the same thing you select the text where the category name is and you name this you add it you name it category now you can name it whatever you want just make sure that these this name matches you know like exactly matches even like the uppercase and lowercase uh, it's very sensitive to that and then we'll need to do that again for the type so here's the type we'll select the text and paste it here, we call this type. And since this one is not a CMS collection, we'll have to do it for both of them. So just type, type, and then we'll go here. We will connect that by adding the same thing and it's called type value. And now that's, that's done. Now we'll need to add the clear. So you go, you scroll down, you go to the clear. You copy this attribute and you go to clear. So reset all, we'll, we'll add it here and this is called clear. Last is the, is the search. So we need to search by name. So same thing, we'll just need to identify the name field. So this is something that we can do. So we go to the name on the blog post we click here, we write, we call this value name, and then we go to the search, and then the search is, I think it's the same, also CMS, yeah, it's a field element, or name of attribute, and then this one will be name. And now, wait, one more thing, is this tag, so this tag is a custom tag that shows you what's currently being filtered, so this will be the tag template. So you copy this, it's also element. You add it to your tag. So this will be called tag template. 
right? And then you go to the tag text. So this is the text. This is what we want to show. So this is called tag text. And then we'll need to add the tag remove. So this is the X button. Same thing. We'll add this and this is called tag remove. And all this is here like you just copy it from here. And now that's it. This is filtered. So if we publish we can check it out and see how this works. I hope everything works and I didn't forget any step. Let's refresh here. So just a tip, you saw that tag thing just appears for a second. So you can, you can actually set it to, like you can select the tag and set it to opacity zero. And that will actually just remove it. So it doesn't like lag when it loads. And uh, once it's working, the opacity will go back to 100. So this is something the FinSuite team did, did and it's, it's very helpful. So now if you see the page loads without showing anything here. Now that we published, we can go and see. So this is filtering by categories. That's great. It's filtering by type. This is the tag that you can clear from here. And if you write name, it's filtering by name. That's awesome. You can clear, reset everything. One more thing we forgot is the result. So we need to show the number of results. So to do that, we will need to go to items count. And this will be the total item count. So we, co we copy this and this will be this number. So this is a text span that you can make it to a span. You go write it here. So what was it? Items count. And then this one is the results. So we copy this and this will be results count. And now we publish. We refresh. So now it's showing 12 out of 12. If we filter, it's showing 1 out of 12. Awesome, so that's about it. That's how you filter on Webflow using the FinSuite attribute. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe, like, do this whole thing. We'll come back tomorrow in day seven with something really cool. I really hope I taught you something today and I really hope you found this video useful. Tomorrow we'll continue with this challenge. Thank you so much and see you tomorrow.